so much for coming out and, and joining me in my exhibition. Uh, I would be amiss if I did not say thank you to the Auburn Avenue Research Library for allowing me to exhibit here. It is an honor. Uh, I am, as, as Francine said, I'm a part of archives here. Uh, it's it's a, a place of stature. Uh, a lot of times you don't hear about where we as a people are collected. And so uh, the Auburn Research Library should be seen as a place, as a, it's a jewel. It's a jewel. And so outside of coming to this exhibit, I would encourage everyone to come in and visit and, and research and research. Um, I'm not going to be before you long. Uh, just to tell you a little bit about my work and about who I am. I am originally from Atlanta. I, I am a great baby. I can have my great cause. <laughs> uh, but, but from seven on up, I grew up in Riverdale, Georgia. And um, pretty much the body of my work represents my, my mother's side of the family, which uh, they are from Dallas, Georgia. Country. The Battles, Battles, Wake. Wow. Gals and Glory was actually, the, the title was birthed at my mother's dining room table. Um, the Chattanooga African American Museum uh, invited me last year to do a solo show with them. And so I, I just, uh, from there, began to decide about what I wanted to talk about. From 2005 is when I began to pursue my artwork aggressively. Um, and so that's when I started, you know, trying to think about what it was exactly I wanted to say. Uh, who I relate to most is who I am. I'm an African American woman. And I, I, I want to speak about who we are because um, I don't know if you've heard the term that the African American woman is the mule of America. That's not so. And I don't know if you know this, there's been a, a lot of attack toward African American women right on up to the first leg that we're angry, that we're mean, that we're nasty. And that's not who we are at all. We're just very strong. <laughs> okay? We don't, we don't take no mess off of anybody. <laughs> People can relate here by saying We are mothers. Whether you have a child or not, we nurture. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we are teachers. We educate continuously on a daily basis. We are always learning. Uh, we are healers. We are the ones who give back. So it's, it's the opportunity to say that there is more that encompasses African American women than us being workers. Uh, one thing my Uncle Tim says is that women are queens, we are not slaves. Okay? And so if I grew up with that type of, of thinking of myself, that's what this body of work encompasses, a queen representing herself and who our women are. Um, <laughs> 2005, I would say up until 2008, I, 2008 I stopped painting because I, I had a death in the family. My brother died. And so I absolutely stopped painting. I didn't want to paint anymore. But imagine if I had stopped, you'd absolutely be experiencing this. Okay? So I decided that it was important for me to live, and it's important for me to live through my work. And my brother would not want me to stop living. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard the term "so yeah, black Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think uh, I think it's a, a strong a strong color. Uh, I think it's a color of beauty. And even though it's meant to be derogatory, if we're so black or blue, the sky is blue. So how much more powerful are we to, to be as black and blue? Any other? Um, I'm not sure it has a, an actual definition so much as, I, I think like I said, I'm kind of awakened. And there are other things that I want to say. And I'll, I'll, and I'll be uh, transparent. I think I was painting a certain style because that's what I felt like was selling the most. And I, I'll just be transparent in, in that terms. But outside of wanting to sell my work, I have to be focused on what I want to say. And so um, because I want to say something different, you're seeing something different. And whether it sells or not, it's important that I, I get what's on my chest off. And so uh, another thing is I've done a lot of research. I've done a lot of research. And um, it's not just me painting just to be painting anymore. Mm -hmm. it's, it's now me saying something specific about a certain thing in a certain way. Uh, women are nurturers. Mm -hmm. And um, whereas I feel like today our breasts are being used as some type of uh, derogatory, our bodies are derogatory to me. 
Uh, we're, we're either up for commodity and nothing else. And so as opposed to looking at the breast as something disgusting, especially where black women are concerned, we are the nurturers. We are the ones who give. Uh, the buttons are representations of ornamentation. I don't know any of you who know outside of the history of what buttons are. Uh, before they became uh, stuff that we kind of button ourselves up with, kings used to wear buttons as ornaments that represented who they were. Wow. Okay? And so, for me, my body represents a part of who I am. It's important. It's not, it's not to be commodified. Okay. So the birth of most of my work came from, and I, forgive me if I did not point back here, the, the photos that are up here are pictures taken by my uh, great-grandfather, uh, Papa Jim, but it's James Battle, if, if you will. And so me and my mother counted, uh, what, almost 700? We have almost 700 negatives of photos that my great-grandfather took. And so from, from these photos, my mother has had um, prints made. And so from that body of work, these photos were taken in like the 20s and the 30s. And uh, we don't have our greasy fingers on the neck. <laughs> there is no chicken grease on our neck. <laughs> uh, and so from that body, it's a, it's a part of who I am. And so I was like, oh my gosh, like um, there, during that time, during that era, there was something about black like, people that was just, it's, un, it's un, undefinable, indescribable. We had etiquette, we had poise. There was a certain way of doing things, yes. um, going to this piece here, preparation. There was a certain way we prepared things. There were certain ways that we did things with our hands. Before we went out, we had to dress a certain way. Oh, yeah. uh, whereas now we have to be so kind of casual. We're always very dressed down. We had, it was required that we be dressed up because people wouldn't even deal with us if we were any other way. So imagine um, how our ancestors are rolling in our graves with our pants, you know, hanging off our butts. And we have naked in most cases. You know what I'm saying? So, it, I'm sorry. Most of my work was was birthed from from these photographs. Mm -hmm. um, so the the body of work that I had at the Chattanooga African American Museum it was up from July uh, from March to July of 2011, and so that show was probably about 21, 22 pieces. Of that show, 16 pieces sold. So if that gives you any indication, what you're seeing here is probably only five that came from that show. And so uh, much of the body of work here has been completed from that course of time since uh, uh, speaking with um, Mr. Gardner uh, from the time he accepted was the time I went to work. Um, and so uh, some pieces, I'll, it, it may take 24 hours, you know, um, whereas others, uh, this, this piece is the first piece I started on. Um, and just, just to talk about it a little bit, it stayed outside for probably about two weeks. Um, but it stayed outside on purpose. So it's, it's kind of, you'll see it's kind of weathered on the edges. It's, it's uh, rippling a little bit. But that's, for me, that's our life. So we go through storms. It, it rained. It got rained on. The sun came on it. So we go through storms. We go through all types of things. But if you knock on it, it's just as strong. Mm -hmm. And so that, that's a part of life. And so with this piece, I think it took me, mm, I came back and forth on it for probably about two months, no. two months. So it, it just depends. So sometimes I'll work for three days straight and literally, like, no sleep. No sleep. My, you know, my mom will ask me, did you sleep? Because <laughs> literally, well, because, you know, I don't know, whatever it is that you're passionate about, sleep isn't as important. Right. Sleep isn't as important as getting out what you need to express.
and our grandmother's death goal too. And so the, that patchwork, so the makeup of who we are, the, in, the integrating of who we are, is, is the makeup of that thing. So we're more than just crafters. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, it represents a little bit more than just, just crafting and just kind of dangling. And so I love to put hymnals in, in my pieces and I, I, I put a hymnal. I like to kind of deal back and forth between the crafting and the painting. Presently, I've fallen in love with oil again. <laughs> uh, initially, I started off in acrylic, which I still love, but not as much as oil because it, um, oil brings about a different effect. Uh, but I'm also in love with watercolor. Watercolor, I love the way it flows. It's just um, there's something to it. But, but oil, I've kind of come back to. So I'm kind of now between collage and oil painting. Um, Really? Can I answer that? <laughs> <laughs> Can you introduce yourself? This right. is Mama back here. Yeah, that's my, my, my mother will answer that question. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I was training her, and I had went to the bathroom. And when I came back, she had some little excrements in her potty, and she had taken them in paper thin on the wall. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> but other than that, she did do a lot of scribbling on the wall. And I think when she was about the seventh grade, we had sent her to her room as punishment. And when she came out hours later, she had these just humongous characters that she had thrown on her wall and they were so awesome. I couldn't get mad at her. Wow. wow. I mean, it's just, it was just incredible. And I think we kept them on the wall till she graduated from high school. Wow. But, um, <laughs> she was very, very gifted early on. Mm -hmm. And I am very, very thankful that she has pursued her, her gift. She's an incredible young woman. And I'm very proud of her. <laughs> oh, wow.